How to fix Genie camera keeps going offline. Fix one. Check your Wi-Fi. Make sure your Wi-Fi is working properly. If it's weak or unstable, the camera might disconnect. Try moving the camera closer to your router or restart the router to improve the connection. Unplug the power cable from the back of the router. Wait for at least 30 seconds. Plug the power cable back in. Allow the router to fully power on and reconnect to the network. Monitor the status lights to confirm the router is operational. Fix 2. Reset the camera. Unplug the camera for about 30 seconds, then plug it back in. This can help it reconnect to the network. Fix 3. Update Genie Camera Firmware. Open the Genie app. Select your camera from device list tap on your Genie camera. Open the settings menu. Scroll and select check for firmware update or check for device version, depending on your camera model. If an update is available, follow the on-screen instructions to download and install it. Fix 4. Reduce Wi-Fi interference. Other electronic devices can interfere with your Wi-Fi signal. Ensure your camera is placed away from devices like microwaves, cordless phones, or baby monitors that might cause interference. Fix 5. Factory Reset Genie Camera. Locate the reset button. Press and hold the reset button for approximately 5 seconds. Release the button when you hear a voice prompt indicating that the reset is complete. Fix 6. Remove and reconfigure the Genie Camera. Remove the Genie Camera. Open the Genie app tap the device that you want to remove. Click on the button on the top right corner. Click on Remove Device button and confirm. Reconfigure the camera. Locate the reset button on your camera, usually a small hole or button. Press and hold the reset button for about 5 to 10 seconds until you hear a beep or the indicator light starts blinking. In the Genie app, tap the plus icon to add a new device. Choose Wi-Fi Camera from the list of devices. Enter your Wi-Fi password when prompted. A QR code will appear on your smartphone screen. Hold your phone about 6 to 8 inches in front of the camera lens to allow the camera to scan the code. Once you hear a prompt, confirm in the app and proceed. Wait for the app to connect to the camera. Once connected, you can assign a name to the camera and complete the setup process.